Well, we got to discuss with our team that uh, you never take a win for granted, so uh, we celebrated pretty good in the locker room on that one. We, we knew that Southern Illinois was going to come in and be very disciplined. They had a great game plan. They, they were very physical, and uh, you know they can shoot the ball. So we, we knew we had a challenge. Uh, knew we had a challenge because uh, uh, Jordan wasn't playing as well. That was going to change a little bit uh, of the dynamic for us. Um, obviously, foul trouble and injury. You know, uh, really proud of our team for uh, figuring it out. We had to piece it together the majority of the game. And uh, hopefully we can we can grow individually, um, get get a little bit better, and um, you know, build on it. Coach, just just to update the injured player. Jordan Horston, you expect her back for Friday, and then Ray Burrell. I realize it's early, but do you have any information yet about her injury? We, we don't have anything yet. We'll have further testing tomorrow. Hey coach, you guys seemed a little bit off kilter and a little bit out of sorts in the first half and turned it around in the second. Why do you think they came out like that? Was that the nerves maybe? Well, I think um, I thought I thought Southern uh, and how how physical they started the game, I thought it affected us a little bit. And obviously with Tamari with her two quick fouls, that you know, I, I was subbing her out as she was getting her second foul. You know, that that was uh, I think that was a little frustrating. Um, and then, you know, I think uh, it took us a minute to kind of find some rhythm offensively with their zone. Uh, and then defensively, uh, we, we weren't really affecting them. They did a nice job handling the basketball, not turning it over, um, uh, finding the open man, and they were making shots. So, I, you know, for us, we were just trying to hang in. Right? We were just trying to hang in there until we could settle down and, and find some positives. Coach, the players that were just in here talked a little bit about the three-point shooting, just kind of saying that the it was a little bit of just a bad shooting night. Would you agree with that, or would you say that there was a little bit of maybe a, a, a defensive presence that caused the three-point shooting? Um, you know, I, th I thought we had some good looks, uh, missed them, and I, I thought we rushed a few. I, I thought we rushed a few. We did. We, I thought we shot them a little bit early in the offense. Um, you know, and, and we weren't getting paint touches in the first half. We shot, uh, I think we shot nine threes in the first half, if I'm correct, and only five in the second, I believe that's right. So that's a, that was a better number for us, especially when we're not shooting them well. Uh, I, I thought our, our best offense was definitely when we were able to get the ball inside, whether that was inside to a post or inside to a perimeter player who's playing the high post area. So proud, proud of our team for finding that, and I thought it really, uh, Helped us there in the third quarter when we when we were uh, struggling a little bit. Four. Kelly, you have two freshmen really come up big tonight. You know, Brooklyn didn't score as much, but she played a lot of minutes. And then Sarah with that three pointer late to give you guys a lead. How impressed were you with your composure as a freshman playing down for a lot of that game? Well, um, I, I tell you, I'm not so certain we don't win without Sarah's three and her that two. She followed that up with uh, that was a big bucket. She she. Being a freshman, she might not even know how big a bucket that was, um, even though I, I did tell her in the, after the game. Um, you know, I thought I thought that was huge, and um, she I, she's a kid when she's in practice when she shoots it, I think it's going in every single time. And then I, Brooklyn coming in and giving us big minutes. Obviously, uh, the 10 second call was a big momentum uh, call for us. Um, I, I thought she played uh, big minutes for us, and the fact that she could get in there, we could slide Jordan Walker over to the wing. We needed to, a scoring punch over to the wing, and that, that really helped. And, um, you know, I think that just, I thought Brooklyn just showed how competitive and how tough uh, of a player she is. That, that, that wasn't an easy job that we asked her to do, but she, she came in and did a, really nice, did a really nice job for us. Chloe. I know I asked you the other day about goals that you had for this game, and I was just wondering, um, obviously, you don't want a lot of turnovers, you don't want a lot of fouls, but if there's one thing that you really feel like you need to work on before this game against um, Central Florida, what, do you, what would you think? Our zone offense. Uh, 
they play zone. Obviously, um, we weren't as um, fluid as, as we want to be. Um, you know, and then depending on race situation, we've got to have we got to figure out if we're going to have her or if we're not. We're going to have somebody step up. You know, and and it may not be one person. I think the other thing I, I felt like. Um, the staff were really, like I said, trying to piece things together tonight. You know, I had someone that was okay on offense, but maybe not on defense, and vice versa. So we've got to have people be able to give us minutes, good solid minutes on both sides of the board. Take the next two from Tyler and then Parley. Coach Alexis had, I think, 12 points and 13 rebounds for you tonight, double double. You know, is that something that you could see from her not in or not out, or was that more, you know, just the way the game went out? No, I, I, I would think that. Uh, that a double double is very uh, obtainable for her. Uh, I think that needs to be a goal of her. She didn't have any boards in the first quarter, and uh, we, we uh, talked about that a little bit. Uh, and she gave us a spark when she got in there and got on the boards. We needed that as part of our offense, and uh, I thought she made an impact there. Uh, played played a lot. I thought she pushed through when she got a little tired. Uh, what gave us a, a Gave us a go to player when she was on the board. Hey, Coach, you all ended the game on a 17 2 run after being down 47 42 there in the fourth quarter. What really changed at that point in the game for your team? Tamari Key play. It's not complicated. <laughs> she was on the court. When she's on the court, she affects the other team. And uh, her minutes were were uh, primarily played in that fourth quarter, and that's why the the score ended up like it did. What do you think it says about your team down Ray Burrell in the first half and not having your course for the whole game? That you know, when things got tough, they they toughened up and finished this game out. Yeah, I'll be I'll be honest with you. I'm really proud of them. I, I'm proud of them. They they fought. You know, they they competed. It wasn't going well. It didn't look good at times. Uh, you know, they, they a lot of things could have happened tonight, a lot of things. And, um, you know, for them to hang in there and just kind of chip away, chip away, chip away, chip away, hang in there and not get frustrated because it's not pretty, um, That that's a good sign. I mean, it really is. You know, I think one of the things that we have talked to our team about was playing through adversity. You know, we had adversity tonight. We had a lot of adversity. You know, we had adversity before the game started. Um, so I, I'm proud of them for, you know, not hanging their heads. They just kept cheering each other on. Um, I thought they had some good teammates out there. Hopefully we can build on that. Over here. Coach, I wanted to circle back to Jordan Horston. Is she considered day-to-day? -day? And then you have mentioned before that young players have to be ready. You never know when your number is going to be called. Do you think they unfortunately got an eyeful of that on the opening game? You know, I, I'll start with that one. I do think that, um, well, I, I shouldn't say that. I, I'm not sure what they think, but I I think they understand that uh, they have to come in and make plays. And, and when I say make play, that could literally be a deflection. You know, it doesn't have to be anything grand, but come in and do your job. That's making a play, do your job. Um, you know, I, I think they understood that, but I think now it – Know, it's very clear what we're asking of them and how important it is. I think sometimes when you're when you're a high school player, you, you know you might make a turnover and just keep on going. Now every single play seems magnified to them, and that's that's a new world for freshmen. But um, I, I think our play, I think our freshmen will be able to handle that. I think they understand that. Um, Jordan, uh, she was able to to do a few things today, but. Um, yeah, probably day to day. I don't know how much she'll get to go tomorrow. But if we're trying to uh, trying to get her into practice on, I mean, trying to get her into the game on Friday, so we'll see. Four. Kind of going back to, to losing Ray and not having Jordan. And how key was Jordan Walker's performance tonight? Two of fourteen points, being that veteran leader on the court. Uh, said, I'm glad Jordan Walker's on our team. Uh, I, you know, I think she'll without without Jordan Horson without. Ray Burrell, George Walker has to step up and give us a little bit more punch offensively. I've been looking for her to do that a little bit anyway. Um, you know, so we, we were trying to find her some shots there in the second half without Ray being out on the court. So, uh, and I think she, I think she can handle that. She's she's played the one and the two. We can slide her around wherever we need to slide her. 
but but her her play was big. I mean, you could see her out there really competing every single play. And, and the thing you love about her, she's doing on both ends of the court. Yeah. Um, how big of an impact did the fans have tonight? Well, you know, I thought there were there were a few times I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to help our team, right? And and I think um, you know that that's good when when our when our players get out there. You know, and they're just a little bit winded. When when that fan, when the fans get after it and they show their support and their love, it it helps. It helps push you through. Um, and and one of the things I appreciated, you know, when, when Brooklyn Miles gets after it and she gets a 10 second count, I, she gets a, a, a great applause for that. She's rewarded for her effort. I love the fact that Lady Ball fans reward our players when there's great effort. That, that's that's a you know, they our fans understand basketball. They know they know what it needs to look like. Thank you very much. Thank you guys.